Welcome back to the third hour of today. So if you're like a lot of folks, especially if you have kids and you're inside and you're looking for something new to do, why not entertain and educate at the same time? And who better to do that than Kate Bieberdorf? Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, of course, we know her as Kate the Chemist. And she's got a book called The Big Book of Experiments. And and Kate, let me tell you, if 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 you're like me and my wife, and you've got small kids from time to time, you need to mix it up. Absolutely, right? I'm just so happy that I have all these different options for y'all to do with your kids and actually entertain them and have fun. And how great would it be if after all of this, they leave and think that science is even more fun than when quarantine started? So Kate, the experiments in the book, like who are they, who are they for? Honestly, everybody. I think a grandma would like it right now, a five-year-old. It was written originally for people in the middle grade, so around eight to 12 years old. But I have experiments in there that three, four, five-year-olds can do that aren't dangerous, they're super safe. But on the other end of the spectrum, I have some incredible double balloon rockets in there that are awesome for 14 and 15-year-olds as well. The ingredients, the materials that you need, are these things that most people just have around their house or yeah. you have to order stuff? Absolutely. It's super important for me that every single experiment in the book, any kid can do it no matter where they live and what their socioeconomic status is. So that means I'm using flour and baking soda and highlighters, things that you probably already have in your home right now. You do not need to leave your house with a mask on. Uh, you don't have to stay at home. Do some science. <laughs> Let's get to it. So, Kate, these are my kids and my wife, Lindsay. This is Dal and this is Sibby. Whatever you got in front of you looks like it's going to be pretty cool from your big book of experiments. What are you going to show us? This is the Glitter Bubble Volcano. So it took me like 15 minutes to get this ready for you. It was so fun. What you do is you take a cup of flour, a third a cup of salt, a half a cup of baking soda, and then anywhere between a third of a cup to a half a cup of water, and you're gonna mix it up till you get a dough. As as soon as you have your dough, you're going to shape it into a volcano, and then you get to do the fun part, my favorite part. Take a small bowl, take about a half a cup, if not more, of baking soda, food coloring, at least a tablespoon of glitter, and mix it all up, and that's your top layer of your volcano. So you're going to take some dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide, and you're going to shove it right there in the middle of your volcano. And then after your dry ice is in the center, you're going to take a half a cup of vinegar, which is acetic acid, and then about a tablespoon of dish soap, stir, stir, stir. And then for the best part, you're going to pour it over your volcano. Did you see it? We have the bubbles coming out of the top. So we have our carbon dioxide going from the solid state to the gas. Those are those big bubbles. And then on the outside in the front, you have a neutralization reaction where your acetic acid and sodium bicarbonate, vinegar, baking soda, come together and release carbon dioxide. That's, That's cool. We're going to do another experiment. And, and I've assembled a few things here. What are we going to do? This is called a bubble snake. And I cannot wait to show you and your kids this one. So, okay. So. You need a bowl, I see your bowl, put a half a cup of water, and then a quarter cup of dish soap. Give it a little swirl, or if you don't mind getting your finger wet, just stick your finger there and then swish, 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 swish. Just swish, no, no, don't eat it. Don't, don't eat it. And then you'll want to use your rubber band, perfect. And then if you have food coloring and you want to use it, which I don't know if you want to use it on that nice dish towel, but if you have some, you can put it right on there. <laughs> Yeah. You can do stripes, you can do swirls, you can do one color. Okay, this is the best part. Okay, so we're going to grab your apparatus, flip it over, so towel side down, so flip it. And you're just going to dip it in there, and then when you're ready, bring the mouthpiece up to your mouth, take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, what? What? Try, try, try. Right, no, put your mouth. Go. Go, go, go! Make sure you put newspaper down. <laughs> oh, this works! Oh! Go, Daddy! Every time you do something with science, right, you can just keep exploring. Like, if you have dry ice here, you can even add water to it. I mean, so there's just an amazing thing. As long as you keep exploring and having fun. I wonder if I can actually... Say, say thank you, Miss Kate. We have to get some dry ice. Yeah. This is so cool! Oh, we don't have to put it on Daddy. Let's not put it on Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kate the Chemist.